Shea Sorensen. Shea, we're having a really clear morning and it looks like the rain won't be coming in until later so folks can get their errands done. Yeah, you can get your errands done. You don't have to worry about the commute. Uh, this morning, gonna have a lot of sunshine so you'll want those sunglasses, but clouds are going to increase ahead of this system that will roll through later on tonight. So that's, of course, what we are tracking. We've got a round of valley rain and mountain snow on the way and much colder temperatures on the way too. Uh, this system will arrive tonight. We're looking at a few light showers as early as 8 p.m. tonight, but the bulk of the activity happening after about 11 p.m. into early tomorrow morning. We're going to dry out quickly tomorrow, but some roadways might be a little bit wet, icy for the mountains and again, much, much colder. This is the system that will roll through tonight, so it's going to take a while to arrive, so we'll feel the wind pick up a little bit. Clouds will increase ahead of that system, but high temps today still pushing into the mid to upper 60s across eastern Pima County to the south and east, mainly in the 50s and 60s with lows tonight dropping into the 20s and 30s, even down to freezing in Bisbee. So if we hold on to that moisture, even you all could see a little bit of a dusting. So here is a look at those showers. Of course, staying dry for most of the day today by 2 p.m. Clouds will gradually increase again. Highs in the upper 60s by 8 p.m. tonight. A few light showers could be rolling through, but that main line of showers doesn't arrive here in Tucson until about 11 p.m. tonight. And then for areas east of Tucson, early tomorrow morning is when you all will be getting that light rainfall and high elevation snow as well. We're going to dry out really quickly and by about 6 a.m. Most of us will be dry, but we'll hold Hold on to some mountain snow showers up near northern Graham and Greenlee County a little bit longer, so totals will be a little bit higher up there. That's why we have a winter weather advisory in effect for the White Mountains of Northern Graham and Greenlee County. This goes into effect at 10 p.m. tonight until 12 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. We're just expecting icy, slushy conditions for the high terrain, so just give yourself extra time if you're traveling through here tomorrow. Four to six inches possible with some isolated spots seeing up to eight. So that's where snowfall totals will be the highest, but places like the Catalinas and Rincons could see about one to three inches. The highest peaks maybe three to six inches of snowfall uh, to the south and east. We're also expecting some um, high elevation snow from the Huachucos all the way to the Chiricahuas. Mule Mountains near Bisbee also seeing some light snowfall and potentially a dusting in Bisbee itself. That also includes the Dragoon Mountains as well in parts of Cochise County. Forecast rainfall totals are going to stay pretty light. Trace amounts to about a tenth of an inch possible for most of southeastern Arizona. Looks like some spots could potentially miss out, but most of us should see some rainfall. Places like Oracle maybe a little under a quarter of an inch, so some higher amounts there, but most of us seeing light snow. Stuff. But we've got more rain and snow on the way. Of course, this is the system rolling through tonight into tomorrow. That heads out of here and will dry out for most of Thursday and Friday. A weak system passes through on Saturday morning, so we could see an additional one to two inches of snowfall for the White Mountains, but the rest of us will stay dry, but staying cold. And then this system is looking like the strongest, coldest, and wettest, so we're expecting more rainfall, especially Sunday night into early Monday morning again. And this is the system that could drop snow levels down to the desert floors. So even here in Tucson, maybe seeing a dusting. Of course, we'll keep you updated as we continue to get closer because as is always the problem with this uh, scenario, will there be enough moisture left over as temperatures get cold enough to see snowfall on the desert floors? We'll keep you updated, but we're drying out early for your Thursday, but notice highs. We're only pushing into the mid 50, uh, 50s overnight low Friday and Saturday morning freezing. We're expecting a widespread freeze even here in Tucson. So remember, protect those four P's, people, pets, plants and pipes, even colder on on Monday, 48 degrees for the high on Monday for the warmest spots. Overnight lows in the 20s, so even colder with that second system that rolls through. And then we have another opportunity for showers next Thursday and Friday. Let's